Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Volkswagen ID3 facelift 2023 or 2024. And in this video, I try to review it right here. And I'm in a showroom, actually, I'm in Zurich at airport. They call it the square and here Amag in Switzerland, they kind of create this place for new cars, new electric cars from Volkswagen Group. And today right here is the new ID3 facelift. And I have this opportunity to come here and present you before it comes to the market. And I try to go in every single changes and difference that Volkswagen made to this new ID3. And first of all, I also did, before I start this video, I did a video about the multimedia system. If you wanna see it, check it out. Probably it's already on the channel. First of all, I have to tell you that the battery, the powertrain, is the same. The only difference are just aesthetic and of course in the interior biggest changes are to the multimedia system where we have this new hardware and new software that works much much better. I want to start by giving you some technical data and price. So you can see right now this version that I have with me is the top end version. That means this is the ID3 Pro S. It comes only in two version, Pro and Pro S. The S, it's kind of the performance model with a bigger battery. So you can see down here, it comes with the 82 kilowatt hour battery gross capacity. So the net capacity is 77 kilowatt hour. The price of the car here in Switzerland start at 37,800 francs and with some added options for example we have the 20 inch rims you can see right here 620 francs and also this color that it's beautiful this is kind of an oliven color so also the the, the name of the color is dark oliven green metallic so really really interesting color i really like the way it looks and this color is also new on the car now some technical data as i said it comes with the same same uh, motors the same battery and we have 204 horsepower 310 newton meters only one electric motor on the rear 7.9 seconds 0 to 100 the range of the car on this pro s it's 562 kilometer estimated range vltp in real you can see they also estimate the real range it's 455 kilometers consumption 16.5 kilowatt hour and you can see right here charging in uh, AC at 11 kilowatt, seven hour and 30 minute. And if you want to charge it in DC, by the way, now the DC charging uh, speed is better. Before it was like 130, if I remember well, and now we have 170 kilowatt in DC. So that means uh, 5% to 80% in 35 minutes. So this is really cool. I like that. I like those improvements. Other than that, the weight of the car, 2006 kilograms. So those are the most important technical data and prices. Now let's talk a little bit about the exterior design and the biggest change come in the front of the car. So you can see on the hood in this area, before in this area we had kind of a plastic extender, but now they get rid of it and they add this new hood with a little bit of more aggressive lines. And I like much more the look of this new version. It looks much more mature, much more, I don't know, modern, I should say. Uh, it looks better overall. And also another big change is on the down bumper. This time they try to make it more aerodynamic. And you can see we have some air intakes this time here. So those air intakes, not only that help the aerodynamic and the consumption of the car, but they also make the car look a little bit more sporty, I should, I should say. Now in the front here, we have also a front camera and also you can see a different design in this area. We have some air intakes here that allow the battery uh, to receive some air. There is also a radiator and then the air will go to the battery to cool down when the car needs that. So the only air intakes for cooling down the battery is on the downside. Also six parking sensors in the front and on the down part here, we have some matte plastic on the down part of the bumper but overall it looks much much better than the previous version of course we have those 
IQ light, you can see right here from Volkswagen, the latest is technology. So it's kind of a matrix LED light, the turning signals LED light, the tail lights LED light, the high beam and the low beam. And you can see those, uh, those interesting design there on the side. It's classic Volkswagen signature. It looks really, really good. We have the bar LED lights on the front of the, of the car that signify this new ID uh, era of electric cars. Then we have the Volkswagen logo, the new Volkswagen logo in kind of a glossy black with white. Behind the logo, we have also the radar for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake and all that safety features. But overall, those are the changes in the front. Also, I like how interesting they position it and they design those new wipers. So actually they are not new, but the way they open, if you remember from the previous version, they are open on the side and that allow the windscreen to be better wash than a normal car and to have a better visibility, not only for the driver, but also for the passenger. And I don't know if you know this, but this windshield in the front on the ID3 it's crazy, crazy long. So that allow you to have a better view from the driver point of view. And I will show you when we go inside the car. Also there you have the camera, the sensors for the light and raining. And also the camera can read the traffic speed limit and it helps with the lane assist and all that safety features. But also overall, really interesting, the design. Also you can see on the upper side, it comes with a new gray matte bar that comes across the car until the back of the car right here. All over the roof, we have a glossy black plastic, even the radio antenna, it's in a nice design, nice modern design. The spoiler in the back also in glossy black, look lovely. I mean, this color look really good. It fits really, really nice uh, with the overall design of the car. It's, it's really cool. Here we have the charging port. It's kind of the same charging port as the, on the previous version. Quite good quality also here. Uh, on this door. The handles, on the handles, they come also illuminated. So you can see both handles in the front and also on the rear come illuminated. We have Volkswagen logo also here on the B pillar. So we have a glossy plastic between the windows, tinted windows on the rear, tinted windows also here, you can see. Look really cool, I mean, look really nice. Also the back come with a few changes. For example, the lights and the bumper down there. The back look fabulous, really. I really like the back. I was liking the back from the previous version, but now that they kind of extended the lights here and they are kind of functional, it looks even, even much better. They also come with those new following turning signals. So you can see right now, you have two options. You can change it from the menu. You can uh, leave it normal or you can choose to have this animation like following uh, turning signals. And overall, the, the lights and the, the trim of the light, it's really beautiful. Volkswagen Group have phenomenal lights. In terms of lights, they are kind of the best. So yeah, this is cool. Other than that, this all glossy black comes until down here. So even the, the door of the trunk in this in this glossy black plastic and I like the way they fit it. I mean, the design is so unique and so cool. So all that black on the roof, it comes extended until down there on the bumper. Really nice design, really nice color. I like it. I really like the color. It's really stand out. I see it on the internet before the color, but I didn't think it will be so nice and real. Down here on the number plate, we have LED light. So you can see down there. Quite cool. We have the ID3 uh, writing here, six parking sensors on the rear. Actually, those are used also for blind spot technology, some light reflector, and on the down part, some plastic mat on the downside, but very simple, very flat, good design, really nice. Really interesting. What also, I look at the car before I start the review and I look in details at every single uh, part, and I notice that. The quality, it's really good. It looks better. And also, I think they work a little bit more on the car. They try to improve more the quality of the materials. And it's not only that they make a facelift, but also they change the things that people usually don't see, you know, like little changes that matter in terms of quality, not only in, the, in terms of design. So. What do you think, guys? You can see the face from here. You can see it a little bit better. 
the way it looks. It's a beautiful, it's much more attractive. It's, it doesn't have that child look like like cartoon look as before. It's a little bit more mature with this new bumper, a little bit more sporty, a little bit more aggressive. It's nicer, really. What do you think about it? Nice lights. Let me make a tour around it so you can see a little bit better before. And the rims are quite the same rims. So on the rims side, no big difference. So we have those 20 optional aerodynamic rims, special made for electric cars that fit really, really nice on the car. By the way, guys, if you want to see the car, check out the square in Zurich airport. Uh, they are super nice here and you can test drive the cars. You can see the cars. They, they are super, super nice. By the way, Volkswagen still keep those drum brakes on the rear. So that's something to keep in mind, 20 inch rims, but the rims look really cool. I mean, I like the combination between the chrome this color and the black glossy. Down here we have a down skirt. They extend it in a black, uh, black matte plastic and it looks nice, it looks sporty on the car. Also we have some protection in this area here so it protects from stones, but I really recommend you if you buy the car to add some paint protection film in this area for the future. In the front, ventilated brake discs, huge brake discs um, and yeah, kind of the same as the previous. The mirrors in the same color as the body of the car. LED light turning signals. We have 360 degrees camera. As you can see the cameras around the car here. I will try to show you also from the interior. The A pillar is the same split in two. So you will see the visibility as we go inside. And yeah, that's all. I wanna show you also here the engine bay. Even though in the front you don't have any space or something else. Let me show you that. So let's go in the front. It's very easy to open it up and this time we have a smaller hood and it's a manual lift gate but it's very light that's a good thing and here we have all that electronics and the 12 volt battery and the fuse box and the liquid for wipers and some uh, liquid cooling so other than that um, no useful stuff so you don't have a place where you can add some extra storage now enough with the exterior i want to actually turn off the lights and we will go in the trunk and then we will go inside the car so open the trunk the same way from here it's a manual lift gate in the trunk also up here you have two handles the triangle will stay here you have a protection for the trunk that you can take it out very easy it's also very light big entrance in the trunk quite big and also you can see from down here they extend it on the side so you have much more space on the upper side than the down part here we have some plastic you don't have a flat floor you have like three centimeters deepness here some hooks on the left on the right side we have a 12 volt port here outlet very very useful and we have an led light with some hooks that's super super useful under here let me show you something you have some extra story space around 10 12 centimeters and then if that's not enough for you, you have also some extra storage here where you can add some cables and not only cables, but very, very useful. And also even here, you can see the paint of the car. It's in the same color, quite nice. Good work, good work. I think they work really nice on the car. Now, if you want to carry long items, you can do it from here, just like that. Carry your skis in the same time, have two passengers in the back no problem you can do it like that without any problem also if you want to fold down the seats or you go inside here on this area or you can do it from the trunk from here it's very very simple to fold it down and i want to show you how it looks with the seats folding down so you can do it yeah, you can see let me show you from here let me show you, sorry, yes. Don't want to bother the other people as well so they can uh, watch the car. So here it is, guys. So almost a flat floor. I, I would say almost 90% flat. It's really, really practical. I will add the next right image on the screen right now so you can see a little bit better the way it looks. But in my opinion, it's super practical. For the size of the car, it's more than enough. You can carry so many, so many items without any problem here. So let me pull it back, just like that. And I wanna close the trunk and we will go inside to show you the rest. Good. Now let's go inside. Talking about 
uh, the windows here. We have a big window from uh, two pieces. One is big and one is fixed here. This can be folded down. Let me show you. So you can fold it down almost completely. It's left here like four centimeters, but here it's all the way down. I noticed that also the quality is really good. And also I noticed that they improve the quality on the doors and on the interior. Now we don't have the same plastic. It's kind of a different plastic. And if you look at the trim, it looks a little bit different. So you don't know what it is until you not touch it. And here we have some uh, microfiber. It's kind of an Alcantara uh, feeling, you know, but it's not Alcantara. All the interior, it's kind of vegan friendly. You, they don't use any animal inside the car, so you don't have to worry about that. Here we have kind of an Alcantara, very good quality, very good quality also on the armrest, some glossy plastic, the button here for the, for the windows, some storage space, relatively good. And here we have the speaker. The entrance, again, quite big. I like the fact that they add the windows on the body of, on the, on the door, because if the windows were here, then the entrance in the car was not that big, but the entrance is quite big because they design it in this way and I like that. So the entrance, it's really, really big, really good. And you can see from this angle, the way it looks and also those new seats look uh, fabulous on the car and also has a better quality as you touch it. So if we go here, uh, you will see that we have kind of a, a artificial leather, I should say, or I don't know how to call it, vegan leather. And then we have this Swiss or microfiber or Alcantara design and filling. Isofix for child, you can install two child seats. We have an armrest, you can add here two cup holders, quite nice. And the surprise, surprise is in the middle here, guys. I mean, here you have again, kind of a hole where you can put different items. So I'm not sure how comfortable it is for a person to stay here in the middle. And I'm not sure why they did this design. I didn't ask but really interesting i will go there and i will tell you what is the how comfortable it is anyway behind the front seats we have this leather vegan leather storage space up here the same very good very useful i love those things and i like the fact that you have a completely flat floor typical for electric cars very very useful now let's go inside once i'm going inside close the door good quality on the doors as well here we have also some lights with touch, so you touch it. Good quality on the roof, as always Volkswagen make great quality on the roof. Handle, hook in both sides. Gorgeous visibility outside, you have big window, so I have a perfect visibility outside because they extend this window here on the side, you have a better visibility outside. Also 173 centimeter I have and I have like five fingers over my head. Also, it's quite comfortable here, quite soft, nice, good quality overall. I want to go behind myself, but yeah, someone want to come. But this, this seat, if you, look at, if you look in the front, they are kind of the same. This one is a little bit more in the back, but this is more in the front. But you can see, you can make an idea about the space here. So this is the space on my knees. There is more than enough space for my knees here. It's like more than enough and I'm 173 centimeters. I can stretch my legs a little bit under the front seat. Not too much, but more than enough. And usually in electric cars, when you sit here, you have a space between your knees, under your knees here. And this one, it's relatively small. I have like two fingers, but if I stretch my legs, I'm completely down. And I, I was surprised how they designed this to put the battery down, but in the same time to have a good position here in the back and not having my knees, you know, like in Tesla, you have it a little bit higher. Here you have it relatively good position. So they are, they are quite nice. Down here, two USB-C, some LED light, simple. Uh, you don't have any air vents in this area. You have only these two USB-C. And here we have this place that it's really interesting. I mean, they, they didn't design the car for for free person but yeah actually you cannot stay here that's the thing even though you have enough space on your knees and maybe on your head like three fingers here you can stretch my hand completely also here on the side the same thing I think overall um, overall it's a good good space we will go in the front and we will talk about the new multimedia system the new um, center console 
and all that stuff. So yeah, let's go in the front. Oh, and by the way, guys, before we go inside in the front part, uh, I want to show you the key. This is the same key as Volkswagen use it also on other models. And it's very, very simple, lock, unlock. It's a keyless entrance uh, key, so yeah, quite the same. Anyway, let's go inside now. All right, guys, now let's go in the front. First of all, in the front, as you see before, the A-pillar is split in two, and then we have this window here that allow you to have a good visibility. I will show you also when you go inside. Now, in terms of quality, also in the front, it's different than before. Now, this time, on the upper side, we don't have any more plastic. We have a soft, nice material everywhere here. It feels like a leather. Then we have the handle, good quality. Then we have this Swiss material like Alcantara in this area. LED light, ambient light inserted there. You can change also the color. I will show you from multimedia. Then we have the controllers for the uh, mirrors and also adjustable mirrors, folding mirrors, lock and unlock the car and then you have here like two buttons for the windows. They kind of save the material and the buttons because if you put your finger on the rear here, those, those buttons will actually control the rear window and if you go like normal then you control the front window. I show you in the other review as well. Now here we have a bigger storage space and also some stuff material inside here, so for good quality. Then you have the speaker, normal uh, at the entrance, nothing here in this area. We have aluminum pedals, the classic pedals from ID. And then we have electric adjustable seats in the front. And you can see we have this Ergo Active. That means Volkswagen add their best to this car. That means they use the same quality seats that they use on Passat, on Golf and on other Volkswagen uh, premium cars and they really want to show off with this car. So many people complain about uh, material quality in the previous version and they really bring their best here and you can also feel the difference in the material quality. The seats in the front, you can see it also from this angle, look lovely. I mean this combination of uh, black with this white it's fabulous and not only that it's fabulous the way it looks but also it feels very good quality even down here it's relatively big the windows you have these side supports on the side and also good good quality even the front part you can also extend it here really nice and also i sit on them and they they are really really good now here we have also soft material you can see the stitches they use kind of the same fake artificial leather that feels really realistic and really good quality then we have those vents that look so nice so cool and also the quality it's good I like it, man, I'm, I'm really impressed. So from here up, you have soft and nice material. Also here you have soft skier, it's kind of a rubber in this area, and then you have the plastic, but really, really impressive. Let me go inside, it's a little bit more silent here. Then you have the controls for the lights, the same as on the previous version, I think you already know. Uh, I show you in the other review. Then visibility around the windows, as I promise you, it's relatively good even though the a pillar is split in two as you see before in my test drive with id3 it's relatively fine but i like very much this windshield it's so extended and you have such a good visibility uh, in the front then around the windows kind of the same view uh, nothing changed there you can see one more time the seats in the back and here in the middle you have also those two armrests that you can adjust it just like that and then you have a huge space here where you can put different items you can also adjust the space here you have two usb-c ports you have a place for your phone for your mobile phone and you can also uh, wireless charging it here if i'm not wrong and if i remember well i'm not sure about that i don't think so no i think not i'm not sure if you can get that but i think you cannot let me try that let me try it out you can put it there nothing happened but i have to put a contact okay i just did it blind spot technology by the way in the mirrors there i just want to point out that and then here aha you have char wireless charging you see my phone starts charging it or not i'm not sure about that man oh yes it's charging it's charging look at this it's close and if you put it here it's like charging yes you have wireless charging there super nice I like that and you have a big space there you can put two phones there it's perfectly two cup holders some storage space in the front there then we have the glow box relatively big quite nice 
and then we have a lot of soft material this leather uh, fake leather here soft material here with white really nice contrast and nice colors you have a speaker right there on the a pillar uh, right in the front and we have here id3 between those two vents that feel quite quite nice much better the interior look much much better much better quality i like it here is the start engine button and let me adjust the seat a little bit on the back much better also the quality on the seat now adjustable steering wheel manually forward backward you adjust it directly in the same time with the cockpit as well but that's fine it's the same as the previous version then we have the same grip the same steering wheel new logo here in the front good grip on the steering wheel and good view from the from the point of view of the driver and i like the fact that they kind of tilt to me the screen right here so it's no more straight it's i mean it was previews like that this is i think is the 10 inch display in 2024 the car will come with a 12 inch display even bigger but this one it's big enough i mean it's huge man wow the view the view it's lovely nothing to complain even in the cockpit even in the multimedia it's really good now another thing that i noticed they have the same controllers on the on the steering wheel as the previous version but this time i noticed that those controllers and those buttons are much more responsive they are much faster they are not as the previous version where they are laggy a little bit this time this time i feel like they are much more responsive and i like that this is really cool great job great job volkswagen let's go in the front good resolution good view on the cockpit there small cockpit but nice colors nice resolution there nothing to complain about that pretty simple here is the stock to change the gears as on the previous version so you probably know it and the cockpit in the front you can see it right there uh, it has this augmented reality and it is updated improved it from the previous version it has the same uh, augmented head-up display as it used in other uh, models like id4 if i'm not remember if i remember well and then you can see a lot of information and it's it's a great head-up display i have to tell you one of the best here in the middle we have also the same kind of the same shortcuts uh, button if you want to go for example to menu parking menu you go from here then you have the climatic system you can turn it on and off from here another thing that i notice is that multimedia system it's super super responsive this time it's much more responsive than was before you can see right here i'm playing uh, quite heavy with those buttons and those functions and you can see they are crazy crazy responsive this time and go to assistant systems and the car come with all these travel assist system adaptive cruise control speed limiter lane assist side assist dynamic road sign display um, it has driver alert system echo assist emergency brake and all that stuff then if you go forward driving mode we have echo comfort sport and individual if you go to individual you can change from here steering wheel drive ac light assistant air conditioning on all that safety features you can change it from there now going into the menu the only thing that it's a little bit laggy and i notice it's a little bit laggy it's the navigation system and i don't know why if you go here and you play a little bit with it you can see that it's a little bit laggy not too much but a little bit laggy but the thing is that once you let me cancel this trip once you set a destination for example you set a destination look how fast it's Can working super the fast the hardware it's a new hardware a new software that works much much better the only only thing small thing is that look when you go farther away it's a little bit laggy but other than that also in uh, in other cars it happened to be the same so it's not thing to worry but this is the only thing that i that i notice other than that it's super super good it shows you here also the charging station so you can see we have charging station on the map and you can go directly to the charging station you can add it as a stop and if you want to have information about this charging station that you add it as a stop you can go on it and it gives you uh, a lot of information about the charging stations so in which in which um, address it is and what is the charging power yeah let me let me press it one more time you can see right here for example 
you add as a stop and it will show you on the map that you go to the charging station right here and it shows you the information about it it shows you the Swiss charging energy from where it is and what is the address and all that stuff so this is really smart something like Tesla have also uh, on their car so really really cool they improve a lot of stuff here you can see the char the range on the map you can see the charging station really cool stuff I mean the navigation is really good really big improvement from the previous version now we go to the menu this is the main menu we have also of course the background light uh, in terms of background light I will show you right now we choose the red and we have background light right there on the doors on the boat doors and we have here on the dashboard uh, not too many places where you have here we have also but I think it comes from up from somewhere or not we have some ambient light but other than that in the back not too much ambient light but you can change from here the colors and you can customize the paint how you want it then if we go on the on the other page we have the shop we have the settings where you can change the language you can change the time units all that settings classic like on the previous version um, this is then we have the driver assistance system that you see before let me close it and then we have like the service information about the car inspection and when the car have to do the inspection we have also the sound setting here where you can change different settings and you can kind of customize and change how you like to have the sound settings the charging information those are the settings so you can choose how much you want to charge the car 80 percent 90 percent 100 percent from here you can you can change those settings and you can see right now it's 72 percent battery we have an estimated range of 400 kilometer depend how you drive settings battery care we have bidirectional charging and all that settings on the charging here vehicle uh, I think I show you no vehicle settings those are the most important settings of the car we have like head-up display settings here where you can choose what you like to see on the head-up display the brightness and the position and you have also the ID lights the interior lights and if you go to exterior we have tires we have comfort light mirrors headlights and from here you can change for example some settings of dynamic light assist dynamic cornering light the car come with cornering light and all that stuff and also we have mirrors we have also comfort light if we go on the brakes you have auto hold function here from here you activate deactivate auto hold function um, and also uh, the traction control you can activate and deactivate it from there we have also windows and center locking service position wipers and yeah here are plenty plenty of settings of the car to change uh, from and it's the same as the previous version um, long term since charging all that settings you find it also here then if you want to connect your apple carplay or android auto you have to use an usb cable that's something to keep in mind i will make a separate video i will have it soon on the channel so if you want to see how is to connect check out on the channel i already have with this new software from Volkswagen a video and if you want to see it so scroll down to the videos on my channel and you will find it there somewhere anyway I think I show you everything the driver assistance systems I show you the help and legal I have a separate video also with this multimedia system on my channel so if you want to find out more details go there and uh, check it out also those here uh, the climatic system and the volume you can access is also like the previous uh, cars from down here up here you have an SOS button you have also those touch LED lights and information and service button it's up there and here we have the lights with LED and a mirror and a handle so overall this is the car guys this is the review I hope you get some information about the car if you want to find out more details about the car click the subscribe button because I think in one month I will have the car in a better place where I have time and I can review it I can make a proper review a test drive and I will give you more details about the car like a proper test but I hope this video was useful if you like it please like share subscribe i would really appreciate that thank you very much for watching my videos if you want to see the car these days check out the square zurich airport they are super nice here and they will help you with everything and if you want to see the car and all the the new cars from volkswagen group you will find it here i will leave the link in the description anyway to check them out but really nice people anyway that was the video by the way if you want to read 
my new book that I finally finished it. Uh, the name of the book is How to Choose Your Next Car, How to Choose Your Perfect Car for Your Own Needs, I should say. Uh, I will leave the link in the description so you can uh, check out the book and leave me your feedback if you like it. It's really interesting and it will give you some feedbacks and it will open up your mind on how to buy a new car. Anyway, that was the video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.